floss tube, Lisa here at Shady Tree Stitches. I'm coming to you with my Mania Update 20, 2024 Part 2. So thank you for taking the time to join me. If you're interested to see what I've been doing in my fairly traditional Mania of working on a different whip every day, um, then grab your coffee, grab your stitching, sit back and enjoy. And if you're not interested in cross stitch, then please scroll on by. All right, so let's get into it. I am going to show you what I did for the second, um, middle third of May. It's um, now the 23rd, but I'm going to show you up to the 20th, and then I'll come back at the end of the month to show you um, the last bit of, the, of Mania. So when I last saw you guys, I was stitching. I was about to start stitching on one of my hay, um, well, what's an artist? One of my full coverages. I shouldn't call them all hay. It's just very disrespectful because artist is a very great Australian brand and I shouldn't tarnish them with the brush of another company. So I was stitching on my Christmas House 2 by Artisy and I needed to stitch on this just to get it done for the prompt and so this is where I'm up to and I will as usual plop in a thing to show you where I was before but you can see I made a lot more inroads into the scaffold on that side of the house, which is really cool. And to do that, I did 416 stitches. So my goal is to try and scaffold out the house and then take it from there as it gets cold. Oh, go. So I'll pop that back under where it was. I'm in my stitchy room again filming today. I've had a heavy week at school. I've taught every day except for one. So that's why I'm a few days late in filming this, but hopefully you'll forgive me for that. I then stayed on the full coverage mode for the next day. <clears throat> Worked on one of my favorite pieces, my amazing Animal Kingdom bookshelf, which is Amy Stewart um, artwork, and it's from Heaven and Earth Designs. I have a lap full of projects and project bags. This one's in a Garon project bag. And all folded up the wrong way, but that's just the way you get it. I did have this on a huge scroll frame, but I was finding it very hard to stitch on. So I actually took it off the big scroll frame and I moved it onto just a Q-snap um, or a nerd tube. So that's where I stitched. I filled in that elephant a lot more and the baby elephant and a bit more of the shelf and the tree. So going across from the from the edge, it's, it's getting filled in. There's not many little white spots left. And my plan for this one is pretty much to go shelf by shelf, even though I did go down to a shelf earlier before I made that plan. And just do that, just basically take one little dot that's over there, and then if it's anywhere else in the near future, stitch it in. And you can see I've got a few threads just hanging. They're not parked as such, they're just hanging, um, waiting for me to continue with that area, because that's where the, the frame sort of got to. So I think when I've done more, they will look much better and coat much better on the big frame. But while I'm just working in a little section, I didn't want to do much. So here's my, my Garon um, project bag. Perfect for amazing. Mm. Just kind of file these things away as I go. Make some room for myself. So what did I do on Amazing Animal Kingdom? I did 1,024 because it was one of the ones for my, um, my whip go. Now the next one for my whip go, I don't have handy at the moment, so I'm gonna have to pause and show that to you in a minute. All right, so my stitch in time, which is this one by Heaven and Earth. And this one I am doing extreme cross country. So I'd already done the black and then I did a thousand and something stitches on all these dark brown. That's what I'm doing is I'm scaffolding from big making scaffold and then I'll extreme cross country and decide where to go for the next colours after that. Um, so we'll skip over that for the moment. Oh and there's my husband starting to do the mowing. Fantastic. All right next up I worked on All Hallows Eve. Um, thousand stitches on that and it made a big difference a thousand stitches I must say 
So this one, I had to work on a piece of the border and I had to work on the border. So I was previously down the bottom and I did do some stitches down there, but the work I had to do on the border, I, I took that border all the way up that side. It's not up at the top yet, but you can see it's getting closer. This one's on a piece of my die spot fabric. I don't mind using my die spots. So you can see it got a lot of progress started on that building there and a bit of the ghost. Um, I know this was something to do with the ghosts being scary. I said you have to watch my planning videos to find out what they fit into because once I've done them, I don't remember. After I did a thousand stitches on that, I went to visit my Hawkrun Hollow. 700 stitches on my village of Hawkrun Hollow. And I was super pleased to achieve the goal that I'd set myself of finishing the block that I was working on which I had started the previous month, but being February, not February, I just hadn't finished it. So there it is, the apple orchard. So I finished that one and then continued working on the, getting the next block sorted. So got six blocks done now out of 12. So we're halfway, which is pretty good really when you think that, you know, it's about to be June. So I'm continuing to enjoy working on that now that I can see it, now that I've got my, my glasses big enough to see. Then I am working on a model and I don't want to talk to you about it until it is done. So I did 800 stitches on it. I then moved to my Blueberry Homecoming. Now my Blueberry Homecoming was a really good one for the prompts because it was by Told in the Garden, which I know I needed for the letter G for categories for designer. So my Blueberry Homecoming got some love. In fact, it got 406 stitches, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it did enough to make lots of that quilt. A bit of the, bit of the greenery. So that one's you know, back into the list I mean I enjoy all these whips and, and I don't enjoy not working on them but I must say I'm not enjoying the switching whips every day I'm much more preferring the way that I've been generally generally stitching of late which is more focused for a couple of days getting a bit more progress on them although the progress numbers is pretty good I mean I've had my best stitching week ever um, between the days that that I filmed the days these days we're talking about there is approximately one two three four five six seven eight about nine thousand stitches so very good day stitching so from that point of view mania has been very successful plus I'm getting to touch on things the next day I worked on another model and I had a finish but I'll roll that through to Paddock Lane Designs News at the end I then worked on another hay, which was one that you had seen fairly recently, my um, Once Upon a Fairy Tale, in case you don't know, it looks like that. And I started this one, every, every full coverage I started in a different place and was doing a different style of stitching to see what I liked. This one I started centre left and working on the third shelf. And then when I had to do a whole bunch of blue, I went over there, but this time I worked on filling in the green moss around the tree. So that's where it's at now. And you can see I've gone down a bit too. So yeah, same sort of thing. I'm thinking of just doing main scaffold colors for this one. And then I'm gonna have the fun of canceling out the zeros one day in a million, million years next to me it's getting huge now but at least my lap is vacating so that had 703 stitches then I moved on to my Charlotte and Charlotte in case anyone doesn't know is the BAP Sal Charlotte Worthington Charlotte Warrington I always call her Worthington Charlotte Warrington and so I moved on to doing some stitches on her, which was good because I got to do some work on my um, my daily 30 monthly. And I was working over in the border over on this side. I had to frog um, a bit, but filling in some colors on this border. So I am definitely behind on this now, but we knew that was going to happen. 
and I'm not too worried. I'm going to keep persevering, but I'm giving myself the grace. It does not have to be finished in the two years. I've got four years to finish it. Dudley dog, you can't come up. Sorry, I'm filming a video. You'll have to wait. Papa wants to come up and say hello. I haven't got room, mate. So the next day I went to working on, oh, a new start. Oh my goodness, crazy me. But look, hands across the sea, um, Nicole pa Nicola Parkman is offering a free tutorial session on her with a project through her YouTube channel. Um, you buy the free pattern through her website and she's teaching you how to stitch in different types of stitches so it's just an easy little piece so that's why I had to finish the models because this is alternating with my models I'm using a die spot piece of fabric um, that I did in um, that I had in an even weave I'm using a 36 count even weave and first lesson was on cross stitch so that is where I got up to what I really enjoyed was that the I learned how to do the front way pin stitch from, from the tutorial, so definitely worthwhile. Had to pick our own um, colours. She said seven colours. I originally thought that was nine, so I picked too many, but I haven't used some of them. I'm using some Silks For You that are leftover Silks For You's, like from the colour of the months. And so this is my palette, which is really beautiful, and I think goes really well with this fabric. Um, yeah, so enjoying that. Going to look forward to doing that. She releases a new part each week. And so I'm going to try my best to keep up with that each week. So that was a new start, which is exciting. I mean, it's in one of my um, beautiful new project bags from Stitch by Narelle in Queensland. So I'll put that down here because that's got to keep being worked on. So that one had um, only 300 stitches on it. And that brought me to the end of day 20. Okay, so where to from that? Well, we've only got one. Oh, I lied. All right. Yeah, no, I didn't lie. Well, scrap that. It's all good. I've got fairy tale count coming up. Once upon a fairy tale is a different piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more pieces to work on, seven if you include my cell, eight with, um, I was missing my long dog, but I've just found it going through to find the day. I looked in that box so many times. So I've got eight more pieces to work on this month and, and then I will have touched all my pieces, achieved my goal, including my models and everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. Plus I'm going to work on, I need to do some more stitches on Catch the Wind in red to reach a goal. I need to do some more on blueberry home farming and some more on lavender farm. So those pieces are all going to get some extra love before the end of the month and you'll be able to see where they get up to um, at the end of the month. But yeah, really, really good. So yeah, two other projects there that I've done. Really good progress. Okay, my finish. Paddock Lane Designs new release that is going to get released at my um, retreat in June and at the online um, marketplace for America um, and wherever else over the world, the online needlework marketplace and it's going to get released for that in um, August. So very excited. It's two pieces. I'm not sure if I showed you the first one, but I wanted to continue working on my, my traditional sampler sort of range. And I started with the idea of doing a sampler for spring using cottage garden threads so the lovely Michelle model stitched this for me and then I thought it would be really really lovely smalls have some smalls so I may have already shown you this one I took out motifs from it and this is a set of three this one I stitch on 36 count linen so you've got the tree this is all about spring we've got the bunnies with the flower and we've got the deer with the birds. So they're two different patterns. You can choose to buy the whole um, sampler or a set of three smalls. So that will be getting released and they will be um, exclusive to my retreat in June and then to the shops for um, that are 
buying from me. So if you're interested in them, please contact your LNS and when it comes out time for the previews for the Needlework Marketplace and tell them that you'd like to buy the Spring Sampler from Paddock Lane Designs. I would really appreciate that because it gets me known to the shops out there and I really would like my patterns to start going overseas as well as around Australia. So that's my finish. All right, another plan I have is another conversion. The um, Fabulous House series, the greenhouse. I am actually doing a color conversion of this with Cottage Garden Threads. Um, I've started the conversion, I've got a couple of them there to do. And I'm doing it with a piece of my tropical garden fabric, which is a dark navy and green. So I'm looking forward to stitching that. I have to find where I put my, my sample fabric to do that, but I will find that and get onto that. So that's another job that I have to do, but not urgently, but that's in the plans to do with the business. Now, also with the business, um, it's only a few weeks away to the Stitching in the Mountains retreat with Mojo Stitches and myself up in Blackheath. So if you're coming to that retreat, I did put a post on Facebook asking you to let me know if there's any particular colorways, counts, types, sizes of fabric you want me to bring in the shop. I'd rather have them there if you want them, then you can see them, play with them in person and buy them, that's good. I will have those that release, hopefully another new release, as well as the um, exclusive design for the retreat available. Um, then this weekend coming, I've got a busy weekend of stitching and stitching events. The sewing basket is having a sale um, down at Marrickville Town Hall tomorrow, so I'm taking a trip down to Sydney with the girls, and then we're going to get together and have lunch at the golf club and stitch for a few hours together. So it'll be nice to catch up with all my Zoom buddies, well not all my Zoom buddies, but the ones who live in near Sydney um, in person. So that's, I'm really looking forward to that. It's gonna be a big day, but lots of fun. And I will take some footage of that, and um, I will probably put that into the next video. Um, because I think you might like to see that. And it's like a, a, a good will for, for sewing supplies. So at the very least, I know I'll be able to walk away with some finishing fabrics. Um, hopefully some stitching stuff, but who knows? Depends what they have. Okay, um, haul. I have got some haul. Some exciting haul. I have got some haul that relates to Paddock Lane Designs. Um, Ginger Stitch AU. If you remember, he has a new range of acrylics and he has got these lovely um, floss um, holders. So he is doing me up some of them for me to sell through the Paddock Lane Designs website and Etsy store. Also bigger ones with 30 holes. Really great for your full coverages, people. And because they're acrylic, like they're really sturdy. So I will have them coming to the shop in the not too distant future. He's working on them right now. And the other thing I'm really excited about, again, apologies if I already showed you, is he's making my little floss drops. I've used my little floss drops and they're the ones I sell. I don't have any handy um, on card, but these are acrylic ones. They're a nice size, good size hole, um, and you can just write on them or stick a label on them. So he's making me a bunch of them too that I will have available. So super excited to be expanding my range of accessories. Um, also, that came about from the Big Stitches Retreat. I forgot a few items. So Handlebar Stitches Biscornu. Biscornu based on Australian kangaroos and wattle. So I have that pattern from the Handlebar Stitcher. And I also said I got something from Taryn. This is actually going to be a prize that I'm going to have available for um, my retreat, but she's made a really cool little project pouch. So it's got room that you can slip things in there. It's got a needle minder up here, place to zip up your flosses, and then it all snaps shut. So really cool. So that's gonna be available as a raffle prize at my retreat. I got my two remaining thread of the months from A Stitch in Time in Hobart. 
I got my week's dye works, which are all in the arrows. And I got, getting right to the end, T and U for, for the um, classic colour works. So I'd finished up the, the gentle arts. So I've only got my weeks and classic colour works. Then I will have the whole set, hopefully, and I'll be able to start using them in my designs. Now, I thought I had scissors over here, but I don't. So that's so really annoying. I really thought I had a pair of scissors. I've got my Fox and Rabbit fabric of the month. So in a lot of scissors, I have to Oh, there, I can see them now, but I just put my fingers in. I thought I'd do a live opening of the collar. Here we go. Here's the collar. Old Man Emu Bush. So it's like a, um, it's like a dark talk colour. Very nice. So I've got that, my 36 count. I'm sure I'll be able to use that for something. Very nice. All right. So thank you so much um for taking the time to watch me and i hope that you've enjoyed seeing what i've been up to during the second third of mania as i said there's still 10 days to show you so i'll be back at the end of the month um to show you what what i stitched on and said so there won't be 10 projects i think you've got eight to go and by then you will it's like a mid it's like a mid year parade in may because i've touched all my pieces so you'll see what they all are and then we'll have to go from there I have still been utilising the voting for pieces um, through the Maypole group. I'm still stitching in my games, my obviously my Whip Warriors games, trying to do all of them if I can, set a good example as an admin. I mean, it's just a matter of participating, it's not hard. Um, the road trip is heading back up through New South Wales at the moment, um, and we're heading towards Dubbo. So it's nice to come from Victoria back up through the centre of New South Wales. So that's lots of fun. And I'm also still doing Utopia. We're on a ship about to start phase two. Uh, currently today there was a storm and we sailed. Thank you leaders. And we apparently now have everyone praying for us that we survive the storm. Anyway, it's quite fun getting into the, the you know, alternative worlds. Um, I am doing, I'm doing this semi-sane <coughs> mania, but I think I'm about to die because I haven't had a big stitch week this week, working every day, unfortunately. Um, and I think that's about all I'm participating in now. So until next time, happy stitching everyone. Bye. <music>